Okay, so I'm gonna be going over the makeup, skincare, and hair products that I've purchased so far this quarter. So in May, I bought this Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. Wait, it was in May, it was April. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't regret this purchase, but I do regret not using it enough. Um, because I was focusing on Project Pan items, I just kind of neglected on like newer stuff. This eyeshadow palette came out last Christmas and I just could not justify myself buying this for 50 something dollars. And then I kind of told myself that I was going to pan a palette um, and that by the next Black Friday, I would purchase either this quad or the purple Kaleidos eyeshadow palette. But then in May, they Pat McGrath decided to have a, I think it was a spring, it was a spring sale or something. This is my only luxury makeup product that I own. I don't think that I would go that route after buying this, um, even though it's pretty and all that. I, I'm kind of good, you know, with the, um, with the want to buy luxury items. So this eyeshadow is the reason why I got this quad in the first place. These other two, I feel like I was kind of disappointed because they're really close to my skin tone that I don't really like notice them that much. And then the light pink one or the shimmer pink one, I've only used it once and I wasn't like a huge fan of it, honestly. Um, but anyway, um, the other day I was like, okay, fine, let me wear that, you know, peachy shade. And I wore it and I really liked it. I'm actually wearing it right now, you can't really tell, but I actually do really like the subtle look. Um, so yeah, after trying that, I've been wearing more like matte colors on my eyes with just like a wash of color. In May, I didn't purchase any makeup. And then in June, I got two things. So this had been on my radar for a long time. This was the bronzer. Um, I really wanted to try a bronzer. I didn't have any in my collection and, and yeah, this was inexpensive and the packaging was pretty, so I got this. I do wish I should have, I think I definitely should have watched reviews before purchasing this because if I had, I would have probably purchased the medium one because this one was the third one up, so it was light, medium, tan. And I got this one, and then there's a few more after that. But um, anyway, yeah, I I think I was supposed to get the medium one. The reason why I got this one was because the only other experience I've had with powdered bronzer is the Wet n Wild one. I think it was actually a contour, but it had you know the banana powder on one side, and then like the contour or bronzer on the other side, and it just didn't really show up on me. Um, so that's why I went with the third one up, but it's kind of a lot. And I haven't had a chance to play around with it too much because I was out of town the month that I bought it um, for work. I'm wearing it right now and I feel like the best way to use this for me is just to use it as blush. I don't think that I could try to contour with it. I mean, it is a bronzer, so you're not supposed to do that, but I didn't really find a way to really shape my face with it, but I do like just using it as as blush. I feel like it just kind of looks like, you know, I got burnt. And the other thing that I bought that, you know, I talked about how it was kind of an impulse buy is this eyeshadow palette. And this was $10. So the sale got to me. Um, but also I think honestly, I was just so tired of using the same eyeshadow that I was craving a new eyeshadow and instead of using other eyeshadow in my collection, I bought this. So yeah, Project Pan can sometimes not be the, um, the best. And I have this on my inner corner. Because people always talk about inner corner and I never do that and I don't know. This is like the second time that I've used it that way. You probably can't really see it, but 
anyway but yeah i do really like this so yeah that's all the makeup that i purchased this quarter um well i mean i feel like there's actually kind of a lot and then for skincare i got this skin miso serum and because i was out of town i wasn't really using it it's so tiny that i could have taken it with me but i didn't and now i'm like starting to use it um you know every day but you know it's only been a week so i don't really see a huge difference um but yeah i've been feeling self-conscious about my pores so i got it and yep that's it um and i think last year i bought kind of a big bulk of skincare so i don't want to buy that much more skincare um although i am running out of a cleanser but i have another cleanser that i could use so probably will stop that <laughs> and going back to makeup um i guess let me talk about the wish list stuff so what was on my wish list last quarter was the rare beauty blush and eyeshadow or liquid eyeshadow and i feel like i'm good like i started using just like matte peach shadows and i was okay with not having that liquid eyeshadow as for blush so i have this quad that um i feel like it's getting kind of old it's starting to smell kind of bad so i could potentially see myself being like okay you can buy the rare beauty blush like the pinky one because i already have the peach and the other color elsewhere in my collection but at the same time i could just purchase that quad again but i kind of don't want to anyway and then i also have a pinky powder version so it's like i could use that and then be okay next quarter i really just see myself buying a mascara because i've had the same one for over half a year now um and then i kind of had been wanting to get either foundation or a primer but now that i've been switching between my two foundations i feel like i don't really need something new and and then as for primer i got i have a primer now someone decluttered it onto me and I haven't used it so anyway yeah. but yeah i don't think i'm gonna purchase a primer anytime soon either and then yeah, that's pretty much it. And then skincare, like I said, maybe a cleanser. That's it. And then for hair products, I didn't bring them with me. Or one of them's gone. But um, for hair products, I only bought stuff in, in June. Yeah, so I bought a shampoo. My sister had bought a bunch of Pantene and Garnier shampoos and i don't really like the smell of them it's just like a generic smell so i just wanted something that smelled like something so i purchased this shampoo it's all right i would like to look for like a coconut scent because i like that smell i don't know and then i also bought hair dye and i feel like i would try to search for the soft black one from the same brand from revlon because I feel like when I first did my hair, it was just way too in your face. Um, so I feel like I would get the soft black because I feel like this looked really fake when I first did it. Now that it's kind of been a few weeks, it doesn't look that fake. At least, at least I hope so. The other reason why I'm kind of calmed down about beauty purchases is that I've been decluttering so much. And I kind of just don't want to accumulate a lot of things that I'm kind of you know done um and then and it, it's not even about the money it, it's about the amount of stuff but speaking about money let's go over that um let me find let's go over that let me flip the camera okay i'm just gonna add up the makeup so i purchased the pat mcgrath eyeshadow for 3807 in april and then i bought the juvia's place eyeshadow and bronzer for $32.28 so I have spent $70.35 this quarter on makeup 
which I think is a little bit higher than um, last quarter. But um, let's see if next quarter is smaller. Thank you for watching. Bye.